a lot of the Wall Street culture is built around, we want people to feel like we're offering them exclusivity. We're offering them something very special because they have a lot of money. This is the line in the sand and anything above that, oh, you're going to get special treatment. But it's very rare that that is more than just marketing. It, it really is just marketing. And it's, it reminds me of a an insurance agent that works with us. He insures clubs and bars. And he explained to me how a lot of these establishments, they are really in the cold light of day. They're just a square room. You know, it's there's nothing special in any corner of the room. But what they do is they stretch up a nice red velvet rope and they rope off one corner and now every human being, we were just at our animal level. Well, oh, what's on that side of the rope? Yeah. And it's fake. You know, it's there's nothing special on that side except this, you know, this idea of you know FOMO. You know, I, I might not be able to be in there, so it makes it valuable. But that's not that's not real value. That's emotional value. And right. that's what that's what happens with these lines in the sand when it, when an advisor says. Well, I only work with people that have $10 million. I only work with people that have a million dollars. Whatever line in the sand, it is very likely garbage. <laughs> and the reason for that, you can think about it from their point of view. Imagine if one of their biggest clients says to them, hey, I've got a cousin who's really special to me and only has 50000 Can you take care of them? Can you help them and uh, you know, give them a little bit of your time and attention? They're not going to say... Sorry, bud. No, no chance. I'm never. I'm not going to help your cousin. It's not going to happen. Right. Or, or another example is, you know, somebody approaches an advisor and says, "I am on the on track to sell my company. Right now, I have about fifty grand, but after I sell my company, I'm have to, I'm going to have six million. That advisor's not going to say, "Hold on, Charlie. You can't talk to me until that business is sold." Yeah. yeah. No, they're, they're you know. They're, they're going to help them. They're going to work with them. And, uh, you know, and I've coached uh, thousands of advisors. Uh, I've been in a role where I've traveled the country and I've helped other advisors to grow their practice. And I've seen the reality of, you know, where is that line in the sand and how many accounts that they have that's below that line? You know, we, we need to we need to be more authentic. You know, Wall Street needs to be more transparent about that baloney with the line in the sand.